Hi, my name is Dr. Richard Mata and I would like to demonstrate to you how I explain dengue fever in a patient, especially when the patient has uh, was newly admitted and is inside a hospital and of course the, the patient is worried, the family, the members of the family are worried. So how do I explain dengue fever in a very simple way uh, so that the, the worry will, worries will decrease and at the same time uh, I will be able, able to teach them what to monitor so that the severity will be prevented. So I, I get a piece of paper and this is what I do. So for example, this is the, the, this is the piece of paper. So I ask them uh, if the fever, for example, the fever started on a Sunday. So I, I write here, Sunday. And then I say Sunday plus six days. So what is Sunday plus six days? The answer is, Saturday so that's the first thing that I do and then I say because in dengue fever it's like your cellophane plastic cellophane with water in it and it has holes in it what what does it happen if there are holes in a cellophane with water of course the water will leak out so what I'm trying to say is that the blood vessel example is the blood vessel of a dengue patient it has holes in it that's what we call plasma leakage the blood vessel has holes in it so because platelets are very small in in sizes it goes out through those holes so that's what comes out the platelets so the reason why the platelets decreases is because the, the the blood vessel has holes. It's like your holes has thousands of pinpoint holes everywhere, all over the body. So imagine that the platelets are going out. The second thing that comes out from those holes is the water. So there are two things that goes out through these holes, tiny holes, the platelets, and the water. Now, th this holes here will just disappear by itself on a specific time what time would that be it will disappear on day six on the sixth day so if the patient develop fever on a sunday the holes is estimated to disappear on a saturday so why six days well it's the normal healing time of a patient Say for example, you have a, um, you have a, I have a wound, like here in my on my face, and then you apply medicine, even the best medicine you apply. For example, papaya leaves, if if that's what you think. Do you think the 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 wound will disappear tomorrow? Of course not. The next day, you know the wound will still be there. But after six days, we all know that the wound will just heal by itself. So that's the normal healing period. You cannot, you cannot rush healing. There's a, a, a time for healing. So that's what the healing, uh, the healing time needs. Number two, the same way with a viral infection. Dengue is a virus. A virus comes in and usually stays around six to seven days and it goes out. So that's two reasons. Number one is the normal healing period and the same time, the time limit of a virus that stays in the body. Okay? So, going back to the picture, if, if, if the Sunday started with a fever for six days, then by Saturday, the holes will again uh, decrease. That means, if the platelet of the patient, for example, is 150, if it's not yet Saturday or the sixth day, naturally it will drop to 90. Then the next day will be around 65, for example, then around 45. Meaning the platelet really decreases every day until the sixth day, which is the Saturday. Then after the sixth day, it's going to do a U-turn. It's gradually, it's going to grow up, go up. So for example, 45, again, it revises to 50 then goes to 60 gradually that's the pattern of a platelet
in dengue. It only drops for six days, then it do, does a U-turn by the sixth day. Okay, so the problem actually is not the platelets. Why? Because the platelet will just go down and then will do a U-turn on the sixth day. That's the reason why there are many herbals or plants like papaya uh, in our country, tawatawa, or many other uh, herbals that they thought is the cure but it's not really the cure because it's really natural that the plate that will de will increase on the sixth day so because they don't know that they thought it was the herbals that they were giving that the one that increased but it's a natural increase actually the thing here is this the water if the platelet decreases every day which is natural until day six and the water decreases as well, which we call dehydration because as we know, water goes out from the blood vessels. If the patient develops dehydration, that where is the danger? Because dehydration will cause injury to your intestine, which will cause ulcer formation. Now, if you have an ulcer formation, you'll start to bleed from your intestine. like. You're going to vomit uh, blood or in the stool you have blood. And because the platelet is low, there will be a severe bleeding. But if there was no dehydration, then there will be no ulcer formation. Therefore, even if the platelets are low, there will be no severe bleeding because there was no formation of ulcer which was triggered by a dehydration. So the bottom line is that if the patient is not dehydrated even if the platelet is low the patient will not go into danger other problems of dehydration is of course kidney failure and sudden shock because of lack of water so bottom line dengue is a dehydration disease it's like diarrhea you focus here many people focus here and they forgot this one that's why many people die of dengue fever now you may ask how will i know if i'm dehydrated or not well the big the, the easiest answer is this urine if you always urinate at least less than four hours with a clear urine you're gonna survive dengue fever so meaning if you are hydrated properly you will be urinating around two hours or even less three hours but if you're urinating five or six hours there's a sign i'm not saying that it's already you're already dehydrated but it is proper that you should be ahead of it and the same thing if the urine color is clear clear transparent yellow that's a good color but if it's dark yellow or orange or almost brown that's already a sign of dehydration so bottom line it's not a worry if the platelet decreases as long as you're always urinating. So the same way in this picture, even if the cellophane leaks with water, if you can give enough water coming in, more than the water coming out, you will achieve a balance. But if the water that comes out is lesser than the water that comes in, the level of water will go here until the cellophane collapses. So that is dangerous. So this is basically dengue management. Water goes in should be more than the water that goes out, which with a proof that the patient will always urinate. That's dengue fever management. Okay? With that, Thank you very much.